In this video, we will reveal the rare photos and untold life stories of Hollywood icon Elizabeth Taylor. She went from being a child star, struggling to find roles, to becoming a Hollywood legend and one of the wealthiest and most influential women of her time. Stay tuned to learn about her fierce and fabulous life. Elizabeth Taylor was born in Hampstead, England in 1932 to American parents Sarah and Frances Taylor. Her father was a successful art dealer and her mother was a former stage actress with several Broadway credits to her name. Elizabeth was a bright and curious child, always seeking her own place in the world. She often spent her time reading books and playing with her dolls. She loved playing make-believe, putting on shows for her family, and dreaming of one day becoming a movie star. But life wasn't always easy for Elizabeth. Her family struggled with money. Her father, Francis, had a reputation for being unfaithful, and the couple often fought, leading to a tumultuous childhood for Elizabeth and her older brother, Howard. Growing up in London, Elizabeth was a shy child who struggled to make friends, and they had to move a lot, Elizabeth often felt like an outsider and had trouble making friends. At age seven, her life was about to change dramatically. In 1939, her parents made the decision to move to the United States, fearing that World War II would soon spread to England and endanger their families. The family settled in Los Angeles, California, where Francis started his own art gallery. However, the move did not bring the family the stability they had hoped for. Elizabeth's mother, Sarah, suffered from various health issues, including chronic migraines and anxiety. Her mental state deteriorated further after the family moved to the U.S., leading to a devastating tragedy that would shape Elizabeth's life forever. Despite the challenges, Elizabeth remained determined to follow her passion. She took acting classes and auditioned for roles whenever she could but casting directors would often tell her she was too young or not pretty enough. But as soon as her stunning violet eyes and natural talent caught the attention of Hollywood scouts, she landed her first major role at the age of just 12 in the film National Velvet. But it wasn't until her breakout role in the 1951 film A Place in the Sun that Elizabeth became a true Hollywood sensation. Her striking beauty and on-screen chemistry with co-star Montgomery Clift captivated audiences, and she quickly became one of the most sought-after actresses in the industry. During the next few years, she appeared in a number of highly successful films such as Giant, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and Cleopatra, and became known for her striking beauty, talent, and larger-than-life persona. Yes, it was difficult to take your eyes off her. Her eyes were a stunning shade of violet like sparkling jewels that caught the light and captivated all who looked upon them. Her skin was porcelain smooth with a delicate flush that gave her an air of radiant grace. Taylor was also known for her fiery spirit, her unapologetic approach to life, and her willingness to stand up for what she believed in. She was a true trailblazer, breaking down barriers for women in Hollywood and using her fame and fortune to support important causes. Whether she was on screen or off, Elizabeth Taylor was a true Hollywood icon, a symbol of beauty, glamour, and sophistication that will be remembered for generations to come. As the 1960s gave way to the 1970s, Elizabeth began to focus on more socially relevant films, taking on roles in movies like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf that explored issues of race, gender, and class. Her talent and dedication to her craft made her a beloved figure in Hollywood, but her personal life continued to be a source of intrigue and scandal. Elizabeth's personal life was just as dramatic as her career. Elizabeth Taylor's love life was one of the most scandalous and talked about topics of her time. Her tumultuous love life was the subject of constant scrutiny and gossip, with numerous marriages and relationships making headlines. Elizabeth was married eight times to seven different men. Her first marriage to hotel heir Conrad Hilton Jr. lasted only eight months and was marked by constant fighting and infidelity. She married actor Michael Wilding, producer Mike Todd, and singer Eddie Fisher, the latter of which caused a major scandal when he left his wife, Elizabeth's close friend, Debbie Reynolds, to be with her. But her relationship with Welsh actor Richard Burton 
truly captured the public's attention. The couple first met on the set of Cleopatra and fell in love, even though they were both married to other people at the time. They went on to marry and divorce twice, with their passionate, tempestuous relationship becoming the stuff of legend. However, Elizabeth's personal struggles went far deeper than her love life. She battled an addiction to prescription drugs for much of her adult life, which led to a near-death experience and heart surgery in the 1990s. She entered rehab several times throughout her life in an effort to overcome her addiction. But despite these setbacks, she remained committed to using her fame for good, becoming a leading advocate for AIDS research and raising millions of dollars for the cause through the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. However, beyond her film career and humanitarian work, Elizabeth was also known for her passion for collecting jewelry and other luxurious items. Her collection was rumored to be worth millions of dollars and included iconic pieces like the Taylor Burton Diamond, which Richard Burton had famously gifted to her, which was famously sold at auction for over $50 million. She famously said, big girls need big diamonds, when asked about her love of jewelry. In addition to her collection, Elizabeth also launched her own line of fragrances and beauty products, which became wildly successful and cemented her status as a fashion icon. She even launched her own line of costume jewelry, which was sold on the home shopping network and proved incredibly popular among fans. However, despite her wealth, fame, and along with all personal setbacks and health struggles, Elizabeth remained a tireless advocate for social justice and humanitarian causes. She was an early supporter of civil rights and integration, using her platform to raise awareness for the cause and fight against discrimination. But it was her work in AIDS advocacy and research funding that truly cemented her legacy as a humanitarian icon. At a time when the disease was shrouded in fear and misinformation, Elizabeth used her fame and influence to raise awareness and support for those affected by HIV AIDS. In 1991, she founded the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, which has since raised millions of dollars for research, prevention, and education initiatives. Her work in the field was so impactful that even after her death in 2011, the foundation continued to thrive and make a difference in the fight against HIV AIDS. In addition to her work with the foundation, Elizabeth also served as a UNICEF ambassador and worked tirelessly to support refugees and other vulnerable populations worldwide. Her humanitarian efforts earned her numerous accolades and honors, including the Presidential Citizens Medal and the Jean Herschelt Humanitarian Award. While Elizabeth Taylor's professional and humanitarian achievements were certainly impressive, her family relationships with the children and grandchildren were no less fascinating. Elizabeth had four children throughout her life, and her relationships with them were complex and often fraught with tension. She famously admitted that she regretted not being a better parent, and her children have spoken openly about their struggles with her absences and the challenges of growing up in the shadow of such a legendary figure. In 1985, Elizabeth received the devastating news that her grandson, Tarkin Wilding, had been diagnosed with HIV. The diagnosis profoundly impacted her activism and philanthropy, inspiring her to redouble her efforts in the fight against the disease. She worked tirelessly to raise awareness and support for HIV AIDS research, using her platform to make a difference in the lives of those affected by the disease. As a mother and grandmother, Elizabeth was also committed to supporting children in need around the world. She adopted two children from other countries, and her humanitarian work with UNICEF and other organizations focused heavily on issues affecting children and families. But in the final years of her life, Elizabeth faced a new challenge. She had to battle with congestive heart failure. Her health was frail and she was hospitalized several times in the weeks leading up to her death. Her family and friends gathered around her, hoping for a recovery. But in the end, Elizabeth's heart gave out, and she passed away on March 23, 2011, at the age of 79. In the years since her death in 2011, Elizabeth Taylor's influence and legacy have only continued to grow. Her impact on Hollywood and pop culture is still felt today, with countless actors and filmmakers citing her as an inspiration and role model. 
Her legacy lives on as a reminder of her talent, beauty, and commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Elizabeth's story teaches us that even the greatest stars must eventually leave this world in an unceremonious way. But if we live our lives with passion, purpose, and a commitment to making a positive impact, we can leave a lasting legacy that inspires and uplifts others for generations to come. If you like this video on Elizabeth Taylor, please watch other videos of our channel about beautiful actresses of yesteryear.